Hello stamping friends, this is Annette from AE Sam Salate and today I'm gonna to share another card um, with you using the Corner Bouquet and the Heal Your Heart. And these are both celebration stamp sets that you can earn when you place a $50 order uh, a piece. And if you remember, um, the last time that I did a video, I made this card using the very large image and this is a sympathy card. Well, today I'm making a thank you card and I'm gonna be using the smaller image and we're gonna throw in a different designer series paper, which also happens to be um, a celebration one. So let's get started. We are gonna be using the um, Beautiful Flowers and Field Designer Series Paper. And like I said, this is another celebration item. So these are three different things that you can earn um, during celebration, which ends on February 28th. And this paper contains a lot of black background, um, flower images on one side, and then a solid pattern type image on the other side and I pulled out um, this piece right here and was attracted to the flower but I also um, the the color here since it's a new color and I haven't used it for a while so the misty moonlight so I thought I would make a um, thank you card for my customers this month using this paper so um, we are going to use this for our inspiration and I'm going to show you or tell you why um, the colors that I'm using to use this one right here with this. So of course we need Misty Moonlight, okay? And if you, another great co color that complements it is the Seaside Spray, okay? And then we wanna pull out the green and this is the Shaded Spruce. And then another great complementary color to Shaded Spruce is the Mint Macaron. So those are the four colors we're gonna be using to create our sympathy card. And um, so we'll just, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the Stamparatus this time. And so I already have it set up and I have the small image here. And basically what you're going to do is after you design your card and you are ready to mass produce, this is what I would do. And this is exactly how I did it. So I stopped in my production line to make this video so I could share it with you. So I have a pre-cut piece of Whisper White, and I know we do not carry it anymore, but I'm still using mine until it's gone. You can now get the basic white, which I don't have yet. I'm gonna be ordering it soon, but I don't need it yet. And this particular piece is two and five eighths by three and three fourths. And I'm gonna put it in the corner and making sure that it's snug in the corner here. And because it's such a small one, small piece of paper I'm just going to use one magnet and when I started this I placed the stamp down here and then I picked it up with the plate but this is like my seventh card that I'm making with it so um, it's all set to go so I didn't want to have to rechange it because um, you know how to do that so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp it with the lighter color of the two greens that I said are matching this designer series paper. So we're gonna ink up the entire image with the green, well with the mint I should say. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure it's still in the corner there so we have the exact same placement and I'm going to clean it, even though technically you don't need to clean it. I just think it helps me to see it where I'm going to be um, putting the ink on next. So I did clean it. And so um, if you take a look at this image, I used it as a guide to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. Because now I am going to be adding some sh shaded spruce with a sponge dauber onto it. And I decided that this these little speckles here should be darker and the these leaves could be darker. So I'm kinda I'm kinda doing an outline 
kind of focusing on those speckled images. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I just love using my Stamparatus, you guys. Um, I want you to get yours out and use it. So I'm focusing right now, just hitting those little speckles or whatever, those little dots on there. Okay, and now I'm gonna go down to this area here. And there really isn't a right or wrong way. And I'm gonna just do a light blend over there and now I'm doing the tips of those leaves. And I think I'm gonna stop now because one of the things is, is that we can always add more ink. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Okay, doesn't that look just so beautiful? I love it. But I think I'm gonna put just a tad bit more like right on the edge here and then that's it. I don't know why, but that's what I want. I want it kind of all over the edge so it looks a little bit more uniform and this is an open area. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more down at the bottom. And I can make these look a little bit darker by just adding just a little bit more ink there. And again, I'm gonna make sure it's in the corner there and give it a nice little smush. There. So now to me, it's kind of back and forth, back and forth, more even. So I am happy with that. And so we are done with the Stamparatus. And again, if you are gonna make a bunch of these like I am, I'm just gonna leave it like that, clean, clean it off and keep doing it. But like I said, I'm just taking a break so that I can show you this card. And I, before I close this up, I'm going to clean it. Okay. All right. So this is our inspirational color piece. And here is what we just did. And I'm gonna grab a scratch piece of paper. And so now we're gonna be working with the blues with the little flower. And you do have to experiment and kind of check it out to see which greens you can use with certain colors because you'll, the light colors will not work unless you use a really light um, green. So keep that in mind. So for, for my next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the lighter color flowers. So the seaside spray flowers, and it doesn't really matter too much as it relates to where I put them, even if you can't really see them all that well, because we're gonna be adding um, the dark blue ones as well. So I'm just gonna add a few of them. I think that looks good. And so now we are gonna do some Misty Moonlight. Okay. This is such a fun stamp set and it's so easy to do. I think that is looking really good. Doesn't that look so pretty? And we pulled out all of the colors of our designer series paper. Very nice. So now we're gonna stamp the thank you. And again, I love this font. It's just so pretty. So we're gonna stamp the thank you in black. And we're gonna put it over in our open area up here, but I don't want it, to, you don't want it to be way up there. You want it to kind of touch the flowers just a little bit. And with this font, it's very easy to do. And there you go. So thank you is done. And we are gonna just set that aside for a second. And um, we are gonna be matting it onto this, which is the largest die right here from the Stitch So Sweetly on Misty Moonlight. And then I ran a four by five and a quarter piece of white cardstock 
um, with the Tasteful Textile 3D. And before I ran it through, I sprayed a little bit of water on it. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit of wobbly, but I love to do that with all of my dry embossing with my paper. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and th the dimensions for this one is two and five eighths by five and a quarter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it to that. So let's do that. Okay, and we wanna look at your designer series paper and and we're gonna be putting it on this side, so check and see. So like, I wouldn't wanna do it this way because we're gonna be covering it and you're gonna see this. We wanna see as much of the flower as possible. So this is the side I'm choosing. And we're gonna put it about a quarter of an inch or so um, from the edge there and give it a good smush. And I like to use my bone folder and just, you know, make sure it gets all um, secured nicely. And then we are going to put this onto a Misty Moonlight card base. Okay, and we'll just put that on there. Okay, and then I'm going to open it and do kind of the same thing. Okay, so now we can bring this one back in. I just wanted it to dry for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, whatever. And now we're going to put that on here. Okay, same thing. And now what I want to do, or is what I like to do, is I like, I'm gonna bend the scallop edge upward to give it some dimension because I'm not mailing these yet and some of them are gonna go in a package with some other things for my customers. So it will probably still be able to be poofy when they get it, like that, okay? And we're gonna be putting it on here like that. Now, if you recall from the other card over here, I said that you could layer this on another um, piece of paper to give it a little bit more dimension or put it um, dimensionals on it. I am gonna put dimensionals on this one because I just think it looks um, really wow for this particular one. So we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of this. And then when we put this on top of the card, we wanna put it about the same distance from the edge over there and then center it up and down just like that but of course we're not done we're going to add some embellishments to it and i'm going to show you a quick inside that you can do um, for this card that you can mass produce at home so one of the other things that i want to point out is that i used a black dot which looks really good here it softens it up because we're using this Oso oh ombre paper when I did that, it just wasn't working for me because we already have these green dots. So this is all that we need, but we do, it looks awesome if we put a little bit more embellishments. And so I have the matte black dots to match our black paper. And we're gonna put two of them on. And if you place a $50 order with me this month, you will get these. And I'm telling you, they are awesome. And I cannot stop using them. So doesn't that look so awesome? Just love it. Okay, and so now I'm gonna show you a quick, fun, easy inside to do to match our beautiful thank you cards. 
So I just have a four by five and a quarter whisper white um, inside. And we're gonna be using the mint. And this is where we're gonna bring that small little leaf in again. And we're gonna just do a little decoration or little vines or whatever going up, kind of overlapping each other all the way up. So fun. And now we're gonna be bringing in the flower again. So we're gonna be doing both the colors the Seaside Spray and the Misty Moonlight. And I gotta clean mine off because I'm gonna start with the lighter color. I just like to do that. And we'll just kind of randomly put some on here. Okay, and then we'll go back with the Misty Moonlight. And so there is our decorated inside. And you can do the envelope that way too to go on in there. And there we go, folks. Isn't that such a fun um, card? So I made like seven of these within like 30 minutes. So here is a great um, card for you to case with your new goodies. And if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love for you to come on over to my website, AE Stamps Latte, and take a peek and shop with me. Thanks a lot. Bye.